In other news, it's been one month since 22-year-old Masa Amini was detained by Iran's morality police for improperly wearing her hijab. Since her death in police custody three days later, Iranians have been taking to the streets. At first, the demonstrations led mainly by women vented their anger towards the country's morality police. But they quickly morphed into something much larger. In recent weeks, Iranians of all ages, ethnic groups and socio-economic backgrounds have been calling for the Islamic Republic to go. For more on how the protests show no signs of abating, here's France 24's Reza Sayer reporting from Tehran. Uh, there's no sign that the movement is uh, letting up and there's no sign uh, that the security apparatus is, is backing down. So a lot of uncertainty. Uh, yesterday there was a considerable increase in anti-government demonstrations and protests here in the capital and numerous other uh, cities throughout uh, the country. Uh, keep in mind, a day earlier on Tuesday, there was a lot of chatter online on social media, even in the streets, that Wednesday there would be an increase uh, in demonstrations, so much so that a lot of businesses didn't open their doors on Wednesday. Uh, some of the schools here uh, in the capital uh, closed. And a lot of people we spoke to said they're not they're going out. They're not going out in the, in the streets. And when you woke up on Wednesday morning, you could feel the tension in anticipation of what would happen. Uh, er, in the early hours of yesterday, there were pockets of protests during the daytime uh, hours. And as nighttime fell, uh, those protests uh, increased. You saw more protests uh, on social uh, media. And most of these videos shows pro protesters that were relatively uh, small, protesters numbering in the dozens. There was a few videos where protesters appeared to be bigger, maybe uh, in the hundreds. We saw videos in cities like Mashhad, Rasht, Esfahan, in the southern city of Boucher, and where the most intense uh, protests are taking place in the Kurdistan region. And in these videos, you also saw a heavy security presence, the security forces riding around in essentially motorcycle gangs with what appeared to be clubs and paint guns. And this is what these protests are, this, this violent cat and mouse game where the protests flare up and these menacing motorcycle gangs Part of the security apparatus chased them away. There were some uh, ugly scenes. And again, yesterday's developments showed us that despite the odds being against these protesters, some are still coming out and the security apparatus uh, still not backing down.